Hi guys, welcome to at least 2 minutes video channel or known as A2M. Have you ever heard of Industry 4.0 or ever wondered how manufacturing line evolved from time to time? If not, you're in luck because today's topic is Industry 4.0. Before jumping into Industry 4.0, let's take a look at Industry 1.0. It started around 1760 with the first mechanical loom. Water and steam power is used to create mechanical production facilities. Then, around 1870, Industry 2.0 emerged with the first assembly line. Electricity let us create a division of labor and mass production. Almost 100 years later, in 1969, the first programmable logic controller was created, thus starting Industry 3.0. It uses IT system to automate production lines. Then, around 2011, Industry was focusing on developmental process in the management of manufacturing and chain production. It uses Internet of Things and cloud technology to automate complex tasks thus introducing us to Industry 4.0. According to Sun Yang et al. publication in 2017, on from concept to the introduction of Industry 4.0, Industry 4.0 is focused on making a smart environment within the production system. This is done by combining their smart machines, storage systems, and manufacturing facilities in the form of cyber-physical production systems, or known as CPS. According to AbbasERP.com, a smart factory is where physical production process and operation are combined with digital technology. According to Erbos publication in 2017 on how to define Industry 4.0, she has mentioned that Industry 4.0 has nine pillars, which are autonomous robot, simulation, system integration, Internet of Things, cybersecurity, cloud computing, additive manufacturing, augmented reality, and big data. Based on Zazuka et al. publication in 2016 on Industry 4.0, an introduction in the phenomenon, Industry 4.0 is used for three mutually interconnected factors. One, digitalization and integration of economical complex networks, two, digitalization of product and service offer, and three, a new market model. According to IIoT website, the challenges of implementing Industrial 4.0 are creating new business model, rethinking the organization and process to maximize new outcomes, training and hiring new talents, and conducting a successful pilot. And the benefit of implementing Industrial 4.0 are Increasing productivity through optimization and automation, higher quality product as a result of real-time monitoring, better working condition and superior sustainability, and live data from real-time supply chain in real-time economy. In conclusion, Industry 4.0 is a new revolution that focuses on interconnectivity, automation, real-time data, and machine learning. So what are your thoughts on Industrial Revolution 4.0? How do you think the next industrial revolution would be like in the future? Write your comments and thoughts below. Stay tuned for our next video. We're going to talk about big data. Big data is one of the nine pillars of industrial 4.0. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and give us a thumbs up.